Happy Tuesday, first grade. I'm back, and I'm back with my letter cards. Hopefully they won't stick as much this time. We'll see. But let's jump right into our phonemic awareness for today. Remember, you're going to say the name of the letter and the sound that it makes. Letter is, sound is, letter is, sound is, letter is, sound is. Ah, <laughs> oh, no such luck. They're sticking. Letter is, sound is, letter is, ah, we skipped one. These cards, I'm telling you, letter is, sound is, 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 letter is, sound is. Letter is, sound is, letter is, sound is, letter is, sound is, letter is, sound is. Sorry guys, they're just stick together so bad. Letter is, sound is, letter is. Sound is, letter is, 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 sound is. Ooh, I'm never more glad than when those cards are done and we keep sticking together. All right, so we are on to day two of phonemic awareness. And so today, we are going to do something just a little bit different. We're going to jump right in with our rhyme recognition. I'm going to give you two words. If they rhyme, sum up. If they don't rhyme, sum down. Here we go. Tip, lift. Test, rest. Shoe, blue. Coat, Boat, feet, foot, ramp, camp, fast, slow, red, green, sad, bad, bed, head. Excellent. All right, so now we're going to work on identifying the beginning sound in the word. We practiced that yesterday. The example I gave you was sit. Teacher says sit, now the student says sip, and then they say the beginning sound. So this would sound like sip from the teacher, and then the student would say sip. Okay, I'm going to go through the words for today. Lip. Nice. Pup. Run. Top. My, nod, quit, set, cup. Excellent. Now we're going to blend words together. We're going to combine them. I'm going to give you two words. You're going to repeat them and then you're going to clap them together to combine them. So the example is tea, pot. And then the student repeats, tea, pot, and then claps them together and says, teapot. Okay, so here we go. Play, ground. Sun, burn. Foot, ball. Root, top. Birth, day. Work, 
week end day dream rain coat home work black top excellent all right let's change to the next page give me just a moment and then we are going to do exactly what we did yesterday i'm going to give you a word and this time we're focusing on ending sounds so you're going to say the word and really emphasize the ending so we're going to practice with the word rope the teacher says rope and then the student says rope and really emphasizes the ending sound are you ready ride hat wall tub mop cuff give crumb pack Class. Great. All right, so now we're going to break some words apart. I'm going to give you a compound word or a word that's blended together, and then you are going to separate that word into two parts, so kind of the opposite of what we did earlier. So here's your first word. Well, here's an example. Eyeball. And then the student repeats eyeball and breaks it apart. I ball. Goldfish, car sick, basketball, lifesaver, teapot, downtown, watermelon, wallpaper. Upstairs, underwear. You know you all laughed when you said underwear. I may not be able to hear you, but I know first graders, and I am certain you laughed. All right, the last one we're going to do is when we substitute words. We practiced that yesterday. This is the tricky one where I show you two fists like this, and I say Sunday, and then I tell you to change day to set, and then you change it to sunset. Got it? I'll go slow on these. Goldfish. Change fish to star. Starfish. Change star to shell. Shellfish. Change shell to sun. Sunfish. Change sun to jelly. Jellyfish, change jelly to cat. Catfish, change cat to blow. Blowfish, change blow to gold. All right, that was an excellent job, guys, and I will see you tomorrow on Wednesday for Phonemic Awareness. Have a great day.